Hey everybody. So I am going to talk about somebody who came up to our table at OGS. She came looking for a half sister that she suspected was placed for adoption. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry we are not able to help with trying to find somebody who's been adopted out due to the complexities of those cases. Names have been changed, records are sealed. It's just too difficult to find somebody who's been adopted out. She said, I understand, I, I get it. I've been looking for 30 years for her. I just I just want to really find her. Thank you for your help. I was like, tell me more about your story. I'm just, just curious, tell me more. So she tells me that she never knew that her mom had a child before her. She was just doing the family research, found a birth certificate listed that was digitized with her mother's name on it, listed to a baby girl, Smith. She didn't know who that is. She was like, I'm her only child. She didn't have any other children. I don't have an older sister, over, older sibling. What is going on here? And then she put two and two together that her mother had a child in 1936, baby girl Smith, and placed her up for adoption. So she's been searching for 30 years for this person. Since she had the actual, like, full birth date, I said, okay, let me see what I can do. She knew where she was born. She knew the exact date. Let me see if I can find anything that kind of matches up to this. I'll give you whatever I find, and then you can continue your search on there, okay? So I go through everything. I contact Robin, one of our research assistants, and me and her tag team this case. We pulled every single baby girl born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1936 on this specific date. There were eight, eight of them, eight girls born on this day in Chicago. So then, one by one, I went down that list, went through the first the first little girl on um, one, and then the second one, and then the third girl, and then the fourth, and then the fifth. I am finding their parents' names. They have siblings. If When they got married, who their husbands were, who their children were, if I can find a photo, like I'm pulling all of this information, so I plan on handing this all to her. Here's what I've got, every child that was born on this specific date, so she can try to figure this out, contact them, see if they'll DNA test, whatever the case may be. If they were still living, if they were family, if they were adopted, whatever, so she can get to the bottom of this. I got to number seven. Lucky number seven. I went ahead and went to number eight, but at lucky number seven was her sister. She has been calling her sister Baby Girl Smith for 30 years. We gave her a name. Her name is Susan. Susan passed away in 2013, sadly, with no children whatsoever. But she was very loved in her community, very, very loved. And in her obituary, her cousins had wrote that she was adopted and everything fit when I talked to the family. Robin called the family first, and then I talked to them a little bit late, late, really late last night. And then we're going to work on getting all this information to Maureen because I haven't told her everything yet. I have yet to tell her the rest of the story. Susan's cousin had told me about how loved she was by the family, how she was just the precious gem of their family in the community. The community loved her. Let me read you some of these things that were left in her obituary um, guest book. Susan, you have touched my life today and for the rest of my life. Rest well. You were always so very special to me. I love the way you greeted me and always asked me about my daughter. You truly cared. You lit up the room when you walked in. You are going to be missed. I was always tickled how Susan enjoyed Lawrence, and she always tried to pronounce his name. She is loved by so many. Condolences to your family. I will always have a special place in my heart for Susan. She would always greet me warmly whenever we would see each other. For many years, she'd always ask about playing the organ at our church, and she would get up there and share a song with everybody. She is going to be missed. I talked to Maureen and let her know that I have found her, shared her obituary, told her where she was buried, but today I get to share a picture with her today and give her her cousin's phone number and contact information so Maureen can learn more about her sister Susan. But that is it for today. Don't forget to hit like, follow, and share, and I will see you guys later. Bye.